everybody this is Randall for Bama Homestead and my wife Michelle now our last video that we did well maybe not the last video but you know about a month ago you saw us uh, come around in our seed trays and we were planting out our our um, cauliflower bro bro broccoli and uh, Brussels sprouts and getting that ready for the fall garden so now that our uh, our transplants are up to size we come around every 18 inches in our bed and on, also on one of our previous videos, you saw where we took our chicken manure and we spread our chicken manure around and we come back with our, uh, with our compost and we've laid a little compost layer down a couple of inches right there, right on top of our dirt and that helps conserve moisture. And as that, uh, as that decomposes, it feeds our soil. So now what we do is we take our transplants out of the tray and they'll have one or two transplants in there. You know, I've planted more than one seed in the hole. And we're just going to pop these right into the hole. And we're going to bury them all the way up to the first set of leaves and give them a nice, sturdy support. So that they're not flopping around in the wind and, and the rain beating them up. Give these things a good, sturdy chance that they're going to come back and they're going to grow nice and strong. Pull a little dirt back, pop it in the hole, and then firm the dirt up around, right around the stem, just like that. Pull the sleeves back and make sure that you're all the way to the top and you're not covering up that, that first set of uh, leaves, but you bring the dirt right up to the first set of leaves. And that's how we, uh, we plant our, our brassica transplants now we got a whole host of other things we're going to for those to of out there that don't know brassica because i was not aware of what brassica can you please tell us what that means brassica that's your uh that's your family of your broccolis your kales uh collards any of your thick green leaf um growing vegetables we just classify those as the brassica family okay are those mainly fall plants? Uh, cool weather plants, not so much fall. Some people don't have a fall growing mm -hmm. season because they live too far north. But here in zone eight, it's time to start planting your uh, your fall garden. The reason we do a fall garden is because we still have uh, somewhere about 70 to, to 90 days worth of growing that we can get in before we get a hard freeze. Now, at the end of October, usually is when we get our first frost. Maybe middle of November before we get our first frost, but brassica plants can take a, a frost. That's no problem. What they can't take is a hard freeze. And what we call a hard freeze is anything that gets down into the 20s. Once you get down to like 29 and lower, then you start getting into the freeze zone and that would damage your plants. But if you're getting a frost where it's, you know, 35, 36 degrees and you wake up and there's frost on the roof and frost in the garden, don't worry about that. Brassicas can take that and uh, it actually sweetens up the, uh, the leafy parts that you eat. It uh, changes the chemical structure in the plant and makes the plants taste sweeter. And that is when we do most of our gardening um, for our, our varieties is in the fall. We get in our turnips, we get our salad. Uh, we're gonna plant kohlrabi this time. This year will be our first year planting kohlrabi. And this is also our first year planting these Brussels sprouts. And what you're looking at right here, these are all Brussels sprouts. And um, we're gonna come back around and we're gonna show you how we're gonna be planting our, uh, our broccoli the same way, the cauliflower the same way. Um, but some of the other stuff we're looking at planting is carrots. You need to be planting carrots right now if you're in zone eight. Um, if you're interested in growing onions, you need to be getting your onion seed started in your seed trays and growing those up through the winter so that you can plant those out in the early spring, like uh, February, you can start putting onions in the ground. So um, after we get our, 
our Brussels sprouts, our broccoli, cauliflower, our kale in the ground. We're going to come back and we're going to do turnip seed also. And uh, I think that's about it. We had um, probably nine varieties of lettuces that we're going to plant this year also. So we're going to have a nice little display of a, uh, a lettuce garden. Now what we're doing out here is the first day of fall and uh, we're planting all our fall garden. And one of the things that we started early was our walking stick kale that we got from uh, Baker Creek Seeds. Never have planted it before. This is our first time. We wanted to bring you along with this, uh, this kind of grow experiment. The unique thing about walking stick kale is it'll continue to grow, 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 and it may get uh, seven to eight foot tall. And it grows all season long in the heat of summer and through the cold of winter. And you can pick those leaves off of there and eat those no matter what the season is. Uh, they're just young and tender. And so we want to give this a try and just see how it does for us here in Zone 8 in uh, South Alabama. And I uh, just kind of show you guys what we're doing. So we planted these a month ago from seed. And you can see the, uh, the seedlings are starting to get long and leggy. These kind of grew a little bit longer and a little bit leggier than our broccoli and our cauliflower and stuff did. And I think that's because of the genetics of what it is. You know, these things just want to grow and they want to grow tall and fast. And so uh, we're just going to bury them all the way up until the first set of true leaves to kind of give them that firm support. And we're just coming along, we're just popping them in the dirt and just kind of pull the dirt up to them. Um, it's moist out, it's been doing a lot of raining, but we're going to come back and we're going to give these things a little bit of fertilizer. We're going to do a 100 parts per million uh, miracle grow. And the reason we do 100 parts per million is these things are young, they're tender, and we don't want to burn them. But we want to give them just a little bit of something to kind of help uh, boost them along. So we're going to go with a very weak dose of uh, fertilized, liquid fertilized, to try to get them going. Now, if you've noticed, we're right here on our tall seven-foot fence. And the reason uh, we're here is because these things grow so tall, we can bring these, uh, these walking stick kale over and we can attach them to our fence and grow them right up the side of our fence. Now by the time these things get going and they start getting some height to them, we'll be well into uh, the late part of fall, winter, and all these sponge that we have growing up here now, these will be gone, this will be out of the way, and so we'll have plenty of room for these things to grow. We typically grow our summer crops that trail up this. We've grown our green beans up this fence and our tomatoes up and over this fence. And so uh, we're going to utilize this through the winter. We're going to grow some of our walking stick kale, and we're going to see how this does. So um, stay tuned, and uh, let's see how it does. Part of our fall pro uh, fall gardening uh, pro program project, what do you want to call it? Let me get the words out of my mouth. We like to plant broccoli, and we like to plant a lot of broccoli. This year, we started over 50-something seeds in a tray a month ago, and now our little broccoli transplants have matured. It's the third week of August here in Zone 8, uh, deep south Alabama, and today's high is 73. It, you're and a month behind. It's September. It's the third week of September. You said August. Of August, then. Well, in the third week of August, we started our transplants from seed. Third week of September, we're planting them out in the garden. And it's a very nice 71 degrees out today. And it's a great time to get out in the garden. So if you're going to be planting broccoli as part of your, uh, in, in your garden, right now is the time that you need to be getting out and planting some of your brassica plants, whether you buy transplants or you start them from yourself. It might be a little late to start them from seed, you can put them in the ground and see what you can get if you're just now thinking about doing seed. But I highly encourage at this time of the year to do transplants. Now we came along and we spread chicken manure over our dirt uh, a few weeks back, and then a few days on top, a uh, few days later after we got our chicken manure incorporated, we put this compost a couple inches thick right on top of our dirt to cover our soil. That helps pre uh, preserve moisture and as it breaks down it feeds the soil so one of the key um, things to grow in a really good garden is feeding the soil not so much the plant but so we got this one little uh, broccoli plant here out of all the other 50 that we just planted 
and I wanted to demonstrate how we do it. We just stick our little shovel, little trowel in the dirt, make a little hole. We drop our plants in there like that, and then we push the dirt back to it. And we bury all the way up into the first set of leaves so that we give this plant lots of support so it doesn't just flap around and get damaged by winds and by rains. So last plant's gonna go in right here at our gate, but let's take a look at our other, other areas of the garden and I'll show you what, how we planted our, uh, our majority of our broccoli. I went to my shop and I got a little scrap stick here and I measured it 18 inches. And this is gonna be our planting rule that we planted all of our plants by this year. You can generally do 18 inches, you can go up to 24 inches. 24 inches is better if you have the space, but we do such intense planting in our raised beds that 18 inches is generally what we go by because we can get uh, the most bang for the buck um, out of our area. So we just lay our stick right down here, we dig our hole back, and we pop in our little plant. We come here to the end of it next, put our plant in there, and we just kind of go along and we measure approximately 18 inches. So we get six, this is a 10 foot long bed, five foot wide. After we get our six plants in down one side, we come up our other side, and then we alternate in the middle. We go halfway between these two plants in the middle, and we put in another row of plants. So we can squeeze in about five plants. So one bed, five foot by 10 foot, gives us 17 plants. So this bed, the one behind the shell over here, and the one on that side of her is all broccoli that we planted. So this will end up giving us enough broccoli to feed us for an entire year if we can get all these plants to mature. Now, usually something happens between bugs, hard freezes, and we don't normally get the harvest that we want. We'll have to come back in the spring and offset our harvest by planting a spring crop, which we don't like the spring broccoli because it matures as it's getting hotter, which doesn't provide the best flavor. If you want the best uh, flavor for broccoli, you need to be planting your plants in the fall so that you're getting a frost on your plants right as it's time to harvest. That frost really sweetens up the plants and gives you the best taste in broccoli. So that's why we do our broccoli and our cold plants uh, our brassicas in the fall. So if you like what you see here and if you find any of this information valuable, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and set your bells notification. Stay tuned and we're going to be bringing you more information. Mm -hmm.